Hello there, I'm Mr. Bo, and LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is now officially out, and I'm going to be going over 9 fun and useful tips to help you get started if you are brand new to the LEGO games, or maybe you're a returning player. Hopefully there's going to be something here for everyone. So let's just get straight into it. Now the first one might seem a little bit obvious, but you can start the game at whichever trilogy you want. Now it presents to you a new hope at first, but you don't have to start there. You can go forward to The Force Awakens or you can go back to The Phantom Menace. You do have to start at the first episode of that trilogy, but then progressing through the four levels in that episode will unlock you the next episode and the one after. So don't feel like you have to start at A New Hope, go back to The Phantom Menace if you like, or again go forward to The Force Awakens. <laughs> At number two is to enter these cheat codes. And you might be thinking to yourself, we just started the game, I don't want to be putting in cheat codes already. Well, these aren't necessarily cheat codes, they just unlock you a few different characters and ships straight off the bat. So when you play through different levels in free play, you already have a bounty hunter without having to go and buy one, or an imperial officer in the form of Darth Vader or the Emperor, meaning you can access things without having to go into the character menu, trying to find out how to unlock a character and then spending studs that you don't really want to spend in order to access certain things in levels. Now all the codes are going to be up on the screen now and they'll be in the description as well and in order to actually access the cheat code menu all you do is pause the game and go over to the enter code section. <laughs> Now another pretty obvious one if you've been playing these LEGO games before, but that is to collect as many studs as possible. Now yes, each level has a requirement to get a certain amount of studs to unlock true Jedi, but there are 380 characters in this game and most of them require you to actually buy them to unlock them. So you're going to want to make sure you have a ton of studs so you can go after the character that you really want. Try to destroy as much as you can playing through the levels and that stuff drops you a ton of studs. Again, you're going to want studs for unlocking these characters or even getting some stuff in the extras menu which we'll get to in a second. Speaking of characters you really want, if there is a specific character that you are dying to get, you can go ahead and buy the rumor. That will then unlock you the requirements to go ahead and buy the character. There's a lot of steps here. For instance, I want Rothgar Den, the supposed version of Dengar in the sequel trilogy. So I went ahead and bought the rumor for 30,000 studs. That then gave me a list of requirements that I needed to complete in order to give me the ability to then go ahead and buy Rothgar Den. I won't get him for free here. So if there is a character in the Star Wars franchise that is in this game that you really want to get your hands on as quickly as possible, you can go ahead and buy the rumor and that will help you get started on your journey to unlock that character. Now heading back to that extras menu I mentioned earlier. The extras menu here kind of acts as the cheat codes from previous Star Wars games. Now in order to access this, you simply bring up your galaxy map and you tab over all the way to the right to extras. You then click on data cards and this will give you a long list of different things. This is where you can turn on mumble mode where the characters just mumble instead of speaking lines from the film. You can turn all the NPCs in the games to gonk droids. You can even throw on fun effects like retro mode, hologram mode and television mode. Now you will need to buy these again with studs which is why you want to have as many studs as possible but then there's also the option to buy studs times where as you pick up a stud it'll either times it by 2, by 4, by 6, by 8 or by 10. So before I've bought any characters or anything like that I'm simply saving up for studs times 2 which is going to help me start earning studs a lot more quicker and then as I progress buy the studs times 4, 6, 8 and 10 and then hopefully by that time I'll have so many studs I can just go in and buy all the characters pretty quickly. At number 6 is to explore and be on the lookout for side quests in the areas between missions. So you have these sort of semi open world areas between your main campaign missions and there are lots of things to do here including little side missions. Some of those will be things like just finding kyber bricks but there will sometimes be little side quests that can either unlock you a character or can unlock you the ability to buy a character. For instance, there was this little race where if I managed to do it in the set amount of time, I unlocked this character. And over on Yavin 4, I found this astromech droid that needed an Imperial officer to speak to it. Luckily, I had Darth Vader, thanks to those cheat codes, who told me I needed to go and kill some bounty hunters around Yavin 4. 
Doing so then unlocked me the ability to get the Emperor's Royal Guard, if I so choose, but he costs 200,000 studs, and I don't really have that to spend at the moment. So don't forget to explore these areas for some fun little missions here and there. At number 7 is one that I've admittedly forgotten to do myself, and I always do this in games, and that is, I forget to upgrade. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga introduces the ability to upgrade your characters. You can have a core upgrade ability, so increased sprint time, more health, things like that, but then you also have upgrades for the different archetypes, so Jedi, Hero, Scavenger, Scoundrel, Bounty Hunter, Villain, Dark Side, Astromech, and Protocol Droid. And some of these upgrades can be fairly useful, though they're not the greatest things. So for instance, in Dark Side, you can upgrade things like Fear the Dark Side, where enemies and civilians will have an increased chance at running away in fear. Or with Bounty Hunters, you can unlock Hidden Bounties, where defeating enemies has a chance to drop a bounty of studs, so you'll get 250 studs all at once. There are some neat little upgrades here, and you might just completely forget about this menu tucked away, and go the whole game without ever really upgrading. At number 8, it's pretty similar to exploring for side quests, but this is exploring main missions as well for fun little moments and easter eggs. There's a great moment in the first level of A New Hope, which is a callback to the previous games where there'll be a group of stormtroopers just sat in a hot tub, and then the door on the other side has a stormtrooper listening to the cantina music, and there's even just a stormtrooper in the shower. LEGO games have always been filled with these fun little easter egg moments, and there's a ton to find in this game as well. And at number 9, maybe this is a bit of a boring tip, but that is to refer back to your menus. The menus in this game are very, very overwhelming. There's so many different tabs and sections, and they're not really clearly labelled. And I think it's always good to refer back to these menus for, one, characters that you've got equipped, the upgrade menu like we just mentioned, missions as well you can see where mini kits you haven't got are you can see all the level challenges you can see all those side missions and where they are as well as puzzles trials and just normal challenges and you can also see the percentage of a episode for instance you can see here i have 65.2 percent completion of a new hope but i don't have any yet of the empire strikes back and then in the extras menu, along with those unlocks you can get, there are also just hints. So if you ever forget something, you can refer back to here to help you out. So I thought that might just help out a little bit, because again, this game's menus are all over the place. And there you have it, those are my 9 fun and useful tips to help you get started in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I'm having a blast with this game at the moment, hopefully you guys are too, and let me know what you think about my 9 tips, and do you have any tips of your own for other people? If you did enjoy this video, then click that like button. If you aren't already, consider subscribing for more gaming content and coverage. I'll have a few more LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga videos up in the next couple of days, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Apart from all that though, appreciate you for watching and for hanging out with me, hopefully I'll catch you around, but until then, as always, make sure you take care. Cheers.